So for today's episode, I'm first gonna start off by going to the post office. We have about 25 packages going out today. So first of all, I just wanna give a huge shout out to everyone that has placed an order in the past couple days or so. I appreciate every single one of you guys. If you're not aware, check link down below, emcvlogs.com. Every purchase really does help support these daily videos. And for the people that kind of don't skip the intro, you guys will have a 420 sale tomorrow. Today is 419, tomorrow is 420 Saturday. So I'm gonna go through my inventory and basically any t-shirts that have been sitting, I'm gonna put $4.20 plus shipping. Now these aren't gonna be the crazy items, it's not gonna be any jackets, it's not gonna be anything that's heavy, it's just gonna be basic t-shirts, you know, that's been sitting. T-shirts that I picked up in the past few days that, you know, I think I could put up for $4.20 plus shipping, give you guys kind of a deal. And it also helps me kind of dwindle down my inventory so I can list new items and continue hitting the thrifts every day. If you notice I didn't post yesterday just because I kind of realized I kind of have a little bit enough of right now and me going thrifting every day, I always find so much. But don't worry, today we are gonna hit up the thrift store. First we're gonna run to the post office and we'll hit up the thrift store. So hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog, let's get it. Usually I wake up every morning and do the packages kind of off the camera just cause I don't really wanna show you guys and it kinda interrupts it, you know, I kinda just kinda quickly do the packages so I can start the daily vlog. But I figured, you know what, let me kinda show you guys what I have to do on a daily basis. So I have this huge duffel, I think we have about 28 packages going out today. This whole entire duffel is filled with a little uh, medium box. Hello. So yesterday we saw a truck for sale at Salvation Army. Now we have a scooter for sale at Goodwill, three hundred eighty dollars, fifty cc has uh, 5,000 miles, or maybe 51,000 miles? 51? Yeah, 51,000 miles. Jeez, this thing has been through so much. A few finds from this Goodwill. This one was kind of dry, but we have this old school Liz Claiborne USA. I like it just because it's red and black. It almost gives like that polo Ralph Lauren feel. I'm not sure this brand, someone pointed out last time with this brand collab with 424, so I'm gonna do a little more research on it. And then we did find this old school Maple Leafs Torontos from, well there's no date, but I imagine early 90s. Crazy all over A-Life print. I'm definitely gonna probably add this to the personal collection size XL. I love this color. This is a pretty cool diamond supply shirt. It pretty much takes over the whole entire shirt. But I am at the expensive Goodwill, so they might want like six bucks for it. I'm gonna put it off to the side. Hopefully they only charge me like a dollar or so. Same with this shirt, but this is really nice. Brand new with tags though, but like look at the big patchwork and then the embroidery. It's brand new with tags. 2002, you have the New England Patriots with Tom Brady. I love how it's like that like bootleg effect kind of, like the old school style. Vintage on a screen stars tag, you have the double-sided lifeguard. Lifeguard, lifeguard, it's pretty sick. Straight off a rolling rack, we have this Nike Brazil jersey. It's actually authentic, because usually we always find fake ones. Nice little back graphic Brazil. 1994, old school cycling is life. The wrist is just the details. So sick. I swear this Goodwill is so ridiculous. I had to leave so many things, because they wanted like $6 a t-shirt. It's just crazy. I was gonna hit a Panda Express, but the bus is gonna be here in a few minutes, so I figured, you know what, let's just catch the bus, hit up a few more thrift stores versus getting food and then I have to wait like an hour for the next bus to come. So we're gonna hit up another Goodwill, and then we're gonna head to the Goodwill Think Thrift. Hopefully that trash can's open, and hopefully we can find some nice things, because ever since that trash can day, I've been thinking like, man, free inventory is the best inventory. Oh, I came to the second Goodwill today, and stuff is already peeking out. Like, look at this, we got little Nike embroidered sweatpants. Then we have this Adidas Emmerich jersey. I'm not sure if it's a women's though, just because of that V-neck. A couple yellow stains all throughout though. Let's keep looking, see what we can find. Damn, I haven't found Kid Robot in so long. This is so sick too. I donut cops. <laughs> so fire. I hate when you get excited and like you see this print and you're like, oh shit, it's about to be like a dope all over print. And then it's like a reprint, like Rises 1, some BS shirt. Nice little kids polo, got the polo uh, 1967 with the little rider. 
Got this New Age Tommy Hilfiger little crew neck Hilfiger embroidered with like the navy wash. I'm gonna leave it again. It is getting summertime, so I'm really trying to stay away from jackets as I s scroll through jackets. But the thing is, is that you know, if it's a grail grail piece, then obviously I will cop. But if it's uh, you know just a regular basic essential, I'm not going to. Damn, super subtle. I don't even think you'll be able to see. But you have the black on black Mercedes Benz logo. It is made in the USA too, so I'm guessing it's an older Mercedes Benz. If only there was like a huge Mercedes Benz logo, or if that was in white, just so dark. I might get it though, it might be like a dollar. What we got here, some super beat Jordan 8s. Like I'm talking super beat. Six dollars, not too bad. They're a size seven Y though. We'll leave them to somebody else. Oh man, I do know what these are though. We got the Jeremy Scotts, size nine and a half. I actually had a pair of these and they sold for a lot of money. And then what do we have here? This looks like Burberry, but I don't think it is. What brand is this? Doesn't say, but then I also found a pair of Air Force Ones. Oh, these are super beat though. Are those Christian Louboutins? What? These have to be fake. These have to be fake. Guys, red bottoms found. They're only $10 though. I'm probably gonna take the gamble for $10. Oh yeah, they're definitely fake because like the, they're peeling right here. But even so, I think for 10 bucks, I mean, maybe I could sell them for 40 to you guys. Oh, they're actually super bad inside. Oh my gosh. Jeez, these are super bad, but I'm definitely gonna use it for uh, the title for today. And like I said, these Air Force Ones, eh. Just peeling all throughout. I know it is a special collab, but just peeling throughout. What are these? Are these fake Burberry? Since there's fake uh, Louboutins, they bought fake Burberry too. And Louboutins found a the thrift. Damn, they got me with these colors. You guys know it's the same thing as Polo Ralph Lauren, but then it's the not, sadly. KFC $5 boxes are honestly the best. Three tenders, biscuit, which I don't eat, gravy, cookie, and a drink. Can't go wrong for five dollars. Well, last goodwill of today. Let's hope we find something worthy. Well, first sign as soon as we walk up off the rolling rack, Yves Saint Laurent. Little like uh, I don't even know how to pronounce it. A nice little uh, sweater, I guess. And then just essential little Nike uh, crew neck with a swoosh. Unfortunately, they want ten dollars though. So, oh, Team Nike. That's kind of dope though. Not gonna lie, that is kind of dope. What's this? Chaos Sports. Maybe we'll get this one just because it says Team Nike with that little embroidered. I don't know, we'll see. Old school, the Mountain little tie dye t shirt with the shark. 450 though. Eh, probably gonna leave it. As far as the shoes, it doesn't seem like there's anything good. This shoes is always a hit or miss. Sometimes they have good stuff behind the counter, or sometimes they have stuff that like rolls out on the new rack, but eh, nothing good. New York Mets cups. Well, I guess today's a kid robot day because somebody just, I just found all, somebody's stash. Let's see what they were hiding in here. Anything good? Right, let's see, you have the kid robot logo. You have another kid robot logo. Another kid robot. And it's funny because we just found a Kid Robot shirt at the last Goodwill. Look at all this. Designed by Kid Robot. Literally. They want $4.50 per shirt though. Probably end up copying all of them to be honest. Old school Kid Robot. Love. Hate you. Hate. So how many? One, two, three, four, five, six Kid Robot shirts that somebody was just putting there. Old school, the Izod Lacoste, little like cardigan in the red colorway, little uh, alligator right there. Well, looks like somebody forgot some. We got two more kid robots. It's crazy, somebody literally just donated every single kid robot shirt that they had. Some of them might even be worth like stupid money, or some of them might not be worth anything. Kid robot. Jeez, this seems like it's gonna be one of those days, <laughs> literally all of them breaking the bank. I might ask for like a a discount if I cop like every single one, maybe try to bargain with them. All right, comment down below how many you guys think I'm gonna find at the end, because these just keep popping up all over. All right, they must have had a 
huge collection because it's nothing but kid robot and they're all different literally all different Loki, I'm kind of happy that they're all like a 2XL also just because if they don't sell I can wear them for personal it's a pretty sick kid robot you're probably tired of hearing me say oh my gosh literally just one after another one after another and they're all different it's not like it's the same character it's just all different characters look at this pile of kid robot shirts blue one now This is a pretty cool camo diamond supply, but they want uh, $4.50 for it, so we're already spending way too much on the kid robots as it is. This one's pretty sick. It's gonna be so hard to look up all these kid robot shirts to see like if they're worth anything. We just keep finding so many of them after another. I almost don't even like want to cut the camera and just keep it rolling just because I know I'm probably gonna end up finding some more. Found another YSL uh, little v-neck. See the Yves Saint Laurent, and actually this has the YSL. If you see in the background, it says YSL. Might be bootleg though, but eh. Even so. Well, a total of 17 kid robot shirts. I'm really gonna see if they can do me a, some kind of deal. Well, they didn't give me a deal, but I ended up buying every single one of them. Just because some of them, like this one is a collab, so if I can get 15, you know, bucks, at least for all of them, you know, that's triple my money back for all of it. So it's worth the investment at the end of the day. Oh man, honestly, today was probably the best thrift day we've had in all of 2019. Like we literally found 20 kid robot shirts in total today, plus a couple other finds that just, you know, put the cherry on top. So enough talking. I'm just going to quickly jump into today's finds. Now, before I do that, if you guys didn't hear in the beginning, I am having a 420 sale for tomorrow. Sorry for the background noise, Captain and Jackson or Andrew Jackson playing there. But basically, I'm going to have a 420 sale tomorrow. T-shirts that have been sitting, one not, are going to be $4.20 plus shipping. Now, granted, these aren't going to be grails. It's probably nothing going to be I found today. Well, actually, I know for a fact it's nothing that I found today. It's probably going to be older inventory that's literally just been sitting or whatnot. Just the bread and butter items, $4.20 plus shipping. Now shipping can range from four to six dollars. It really depends where you are. My website automatically calculates it. As soon as you put your address, it automatically does what the shipping cost is gonna be. So just keep that in mind. Check the link down below. It will start at midnight tonight. Midnight tonight all the way till midnight the following night. Basically the whole 420 all Saturday. I'm gonna have a bunch of t-shirts for $4.20. So to jump into today's finds, We'll start it off with my favorite find. You guys know I love all over print, and I honestly like A Life as a as a brand itself. I have a couple shirts in personal, so I'm probably gonna add this to the personal just because it's all over craziness. I love the lime green on it; it's just super nice. And I did end up grabbing this 2002 New England Patriots. You have Tom Brady, and I like it because it almost has like that old school. Uh, style to it with the printing. This is a size large. This is dope too. This is actually from 1994, Big Ball Sports. You have the cycling is life, little cycling, then the rest is just details. Nike Brazil jersey, it is authentic, little dry fit, little authentic tab right there. Usually when we find these, they're not authentic. Um, I, for whatever odd reason, they make so many fake jerseys. Now granted, this could be a fake one and I don't even know, but I'm pretty sure it's authentic. Uh, it seems to be with the Nike swoosh. Uh, it says it's about a size large, and then on the back, it does have a Brazil logo as well with the stars. I'm grabbing this lifeguard shirt. It is printed on a screen star, so it's an old school style lifeguard. It says size XL, could probably fit a large also. See, double-sided. did end up grabbing this uh, black on black Mercedes. If you see, it's all embroidered right there. Just a subtle Mercedes logo. It is made in USA, so I don't know if it's a new age or a old Mercedes Benz. I wish it was in white lettering or if it had like a big Mercedes logo like the BMW shirt that I found, but even so, it's a little subtle shirt. This actually might be a shirt for $4.20. I might put this in the pile for it. I ended up leaving the YSL little sweater just because it didn't really have any branding like this. Obviously, you see the YSL on it. Now, this seems like it was brand new uh, just because it still has the little tag here that says YSL on it. I'm not sure if this is authentic. It might be bootleg, but even so, it's a pretty nice little V-neck. Uh, it says, actually, I guess it probably is bootleg because it says an XL, but honestly, it fits about a medium. Maybe even a small, but remember, everything will have measurements linked down below. Now, to get into 
the finds of today. Now we first found this at the thrift store probably two and a half miles down the road and I was like, yo, it's kind of funny. We haven't found Kid Robot in a while. Now when I used to thrift a few years ago, we would find him probably about once a week we'd find a Kid Robot shirt, maybe a Kid Robot hoodie, um, but it doesn't seem to pop up anymore. So I was like, oh, it's kind of cool. Then literally the next thrift store we go to, we find 20 of them. And they're all limited edition. So the person that donated this had to be, whoa, all of you guys off the clothes. Not on the new clothes. Not on the new clothes. I'm gonna lock you guys both back in here and watch this. You're a prisoner. All right, so it had to be a collector because they're all limited edition ro kid robot. They're not just the basic kid robot. Now granted, there are maybe one, two that aren't limited edition, but everything else is limited edition. And you're like, Emilio, how do you know they're limited edition? Well, let me show you guys. A little key note to find out if kid robot is a limited edition, all you gotta do is take the bottom shirt, boom, limited edition. You'll see all of them limited edition. Every one that has a tab will read limited edition. Limited edition. Now this one doesn't have a tab, so this one's a not limited edition. This one's just like a basic. This one's just like a basic also, but all these limited edition, limited edition, limited edition, and they just go on. All of these are limited edition. Just all of them. Limited edition. This one doesn't have it. So out of all 20, there's about three that doesn't have the limited edition thing. They're also all the same size. Basically an XL, 2XL. Now the 2XL seems like they did shrink up to about an XL, but I'm probably going to maybe... First, I have to do research. So for one, they're not gonna be for sale on my website at the moment, just because I have to kind of look up. I did find a lot of them up already, so I know some of them are about $40, some are 50, some are about $20, but I will do a little bit of research on them so I can price them accordingly. Maybe if you guys wanna do a bundle deal, if you're like a size XL, 2XL, maybe I'll do a bundle deal, like kind of package them together, but I more than likely will just single them out. Uh, I think that'd be the best, just because bundles really never work. If somebody really wants a shirt, they're gonna buy it as a single knot, you know, as a bundle. But let's show you guys all of them that I found. A few of them are gonna keep for personal. Um, I'm not exactly sure which ones. I don't wanna say I'm gonna keep this one and then that happens to be the one that's worth 100 plus dollars because I, I don't love Kid Robot enough to have a $100 shirt, but there are a few nice ones. So to start it off, we have this size large, the I Donut Cops. And this is a limited edition one. I saw this one goes for about uh, $50, but it does have some cracking, so I'll probably list it about 30. Then we do have a few, I think there's a few of these ones, like the Smoking Bunny. Um, I'm not exactly sure. Oh, look, this one I thought that doesn't have the limited edition, it actually has a limited edition on the back. So you have to actually check, it might have limited edition on the back also. Some of them also have back printing or like a script. But uh, yeah, I gotta check out. But this is a 2XL. Basically, they're all like 2XLs. I'm not gonna really go through the sizing, but this one's kind of cool. This one I saw is about a $40 one. This is Kid Robot collab with Kozik. There's a few Kid collab with Kozik. Like this one is a Kozik Kid Robot also. Did I say Kith? I just, I think I said Kith collab. Kozik Kid Robot collab with a little bunny with the zipper mouth. I'm not exactly sure what that is. I mean, I guess it looks like a, a hand or a finger, but it also kind of looks like a rooster symbol. Not exactly sure. Then we have like this, uh, I don't even know how to, I guess it's like a skull-like, I, I, I don't know, I don't know, I have no idea. Oh, look, it even says, Demeric the Destroyer. And again, it's a limited edition. So I'm, I imagine every single one of these are limited edition. The ones that I thought didn't have the little tab right here have the tab on the back, so that's all it is. This one might be, yeah, limited edition also, that's crazy. Okay, just like the big logo. Is there anything on the back of this one? No. Then that little like uh, rabbit guy, but this one has a mustache instead of smoking. There's two I think that have the mustache. This one I think I am gonna keep for personal. This one reminds me of Bape, uh, just that all over print. But again, this one might be the one that's worth a lot, but I just like it with the paint drips on it. Um, I'm not exactly sure. It doesn't say what collab this is from. Like it doesn't have any other writing on this one. This one's pretty sick. I wonder if this glows in the dark, but it has a little paint spans with the spray. And this has something on the back of the Mooney. So this is Kid Robot collab with Mooney. 
This one's sick. I might keep this one also for the personal just because I love the the colors on it. Uh, this one I thought had a signature on the back. No, maybe not. This one's sick too. All of them are sick, honestly. Just them being a limited edition also uh, just makes it so much more better just because you know, people aren't gonna have these. That's why I figured, you know what? It's worth the investment. I'm gonna keep this one also. Uh, this one is a collab, Devil Robots. Some of them I've never even heard of or even seen. This one's kind of cool, the pirate guy of Hate You. And then there's something on the back, I think Hate, yeah. The little music guy. Anything on the back of this one? No. The demented bunny with the blood squirt all throughout. Anything on the back of this one? No. And then a uh, regular, oh, I guess it's not a regular. I guess it's D-U Dunny. So we had Mooney, now we have Dunny. And that's like the big robot. We also did pick up these Jeremy Scott's cheetah, little teddy bears. These are size nine and a half. I'm gonna clean them up also, and they will be for sale, link down below. So. Those were the finds of today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, smash the thumbs up button. Remember the 420 sale tomorrow. Also check the link down below. I think I'm gonna hold off on listing these Kid Robots just so I can put up the 420 sale. But make sure you come back Sunday. Sunday, the Kid Robot shirts will all be listed. Or just send me an Instagram DM at DITR954. I'll definitely work out some pricing and sizing for you guys. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for another vlog at 8 p.m. And don't forget guys, let's get it.